Okay, guess where I am? I'm at. I'm in the parking lot for the Salvation Army. They are having their 50% off sale today. So let me take this out because I look crazy. Okay, they have their 50% off sale this weekend. Saturday morning, it's 9.30. They just opened at 9. I'm going to allot myself 30 minutes to shop to get in and out of there. So I'll set my timer. I probably won't film in there, check out everything, get back out and show you what I got. After that, I'm gonna go by Goodwill. And then, because I have a coupon there. I also have a coupon for Salvation Army, but I wonder if they'll let you use it on sale weekends. So we'll see, we'll see about that. Yesterday, went to the mall for free pretzel day and went to check out Express really quick. Right now it's 30 to 50% off. The 50% off was only on clearance. 30% off was everything. The, the store is fully stocked. If you want to go check out your local Express, I would do it now because everything's fully stocked. You can go into clearance, 50% off. But um, I'm, I'm going to make a short about that. I filmed a little bit. I didn't really go shopping because I had a little one with me. I didn't want to, you know, I can't be filming and, and shopping. It's like, she'll... A loser. <laughs> so I didn't want to do that. So yeah, let's go shopping. I'm gonna set my timer. Does this even have a timer? On? No, this doesn't have a timer. This is the Google Watch. I'll set the timer on my phone for 30 minutes. I'm looking for anything. <laughs> I'm looking for. I said this before. I'm looking for like linen. I'm looking for tops. I'm looking for jeans. I'm looking for. That's pretty much it. I'll check out the purse section, which usually is like, they don't really have anything in there. Oops. Hopefully, maybe they also have something good today. I'm using this speaker right now, or not my speaker, but I'm using my wireless headphones for right now, just because to make see if the sound is a little better. But I did, I did order some Boya brand wireless, a wireless, what do you call it? Wireless mic. That's supposed to come in today. So if I'll see if it even, if that shows up. And if it's any good, I'll keep it. If it's not good, I'll return that thing and maybe I'll splurge on like the DJI brand because that's supposed to be like the really good brand, but it's like $300. So I have to save a little bit more for that. But let's go, let's get started. I'm in the car too long. I found this Madewell sweater, but it wasn't the best condition, so I didn't bother looking at it more. I love star prints, and this one was new with tags, and it was oversized, so I picked that up. Found a really cute Burton snow jacket, really great condition. It looks like it'll probably fit my niece, I'll see if she wants it. I picked it up. This graphic print was horrible. It looks better on camera, but it was really bad. It looks so fake. There were so many jeans and pants to look through. I just didn't have enough time. Found this really nice Trina Turk jacket. Not my style. Um, this probably retailed for around, I say, 200 plus. Found this vintage Izod cardigan, but it looked, it was really itchy. Found this other Christmas sweater. I thought it was the Coca-Cola bear at first, but it wasn't, so I put that back.
found this men's Nordstrom cardigan it was super soft, no flaws, so I picked this up. Found this Beetlejuice sweater from Box Lunch brand, and it was on sale for three bucks. Also found this Cos sweater, really nice quality, but it was yellow, so I put that back. Also found this Carhartt sweater, but it was kid size 16, so I put that back. Found this Simpsons Krusty Burger hoodie, picked that up. I'm over at my favorite section, the purses. Sometimes you get lucky here, sometimes, most of the time, they'll put the quote-unquote good stuff in the glass box in the front, but sometimes they'll put stuff out here. I found um, a Madewell, I found a Madewell crossbody out here one time, so that's why I always look. Found these Madewell jeans, but there is some weird stains on it so I put it back. I also found a lot, uh, not a lot, but I found a few of the same exact style, same exact brand. These were rag and bone, brand new with tags, the Dre ankle style. I found a, like five of them, all white, um, different sizes. But these are expensive jeans. These retail for I think around $200. Got these CNC California Wide Lake jeans for myself. These sell, I think, at TJ Maxx, so they're not super expensive, but I picked them up. I also found these Seven for All Mankind, which are really expensive retail, but I didn't pick them up because the pockets just looked weird. Look at the pockets, they're so small. <laughs> I was like, mm, why are they so small? So I put them back. And I found these cute little pink jeans that would be perfect for someone tiny. My daughter would have loved those if they were her size. And found more of those rag and bone jeans. Those are in a light blue wash. Same style, the ankle, the dre, um, low rise. Then I found these Princess Polly denim, um, what do you call it, cargo pants. Now these are still on the website. I think they're like $75, but they were a size, I think 26 or 27. And I was thinking, looking back, maybe I should have got those for my daughter. And I saw these H&M black printed, but they weren't my size. I found this really nice, very like cashmere vest that would be a perfect layering piece. This was a petite small, it was so soft. Then this Patagonia that they wanted $13 for, so I put that back. Mm -hmm. 